Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today they just released Vegas Pro 19, and I'm going to be showing you the new text-to-speech option that they have for Vegas 365 subscription users. When you load up Vegas, if you go to Tools, then you'll see a new option called text-to-speech, which the keyboard shortcut is Control shift p If you select it, it's going to ask you to log into Vegas Hub, which is the same thing as your Magix credentials. So whatever you log into your Magix account with, whatever email you use to register your product with, that's the email and password you're going to use for Vegas Hub. Once you've successfully logged in, text-to-speech will load. And it'll look like this. You'll see four options at the top. The first one is create where, which means where do you want to put this audio file once it's generated? You can say in the project media tab only, or the project media tab and on the timeline wherever your cursor has landed. Then you have audio format. You can choose either 24 kilohertz WAV file or an MP3 file. WAV is definitely a higher quality file and it's not compressed like MP3. So I like to use WAV because I like the highest quality things. And then we have the voice option. This is the most impressive part. They have a vast amount of different languages and accents, females, males, all sorts of different countries, all that you can choose to have this AI's voice as. It is absolutely insane to me. And all of these voices, I've tried them all, they all sound really awesome and really authentic. And on the right here, we have pace, which I'm going to show you that here in a second once we type in some stuff that we want this AI to say. So I'm going to go ahead and type in something. And in the bottom middle, we have a play and a stop button. This is a test. I think that sounded pretty good. Let's try another one. I swear I am a human, not a robot. I love human food. Trust me. Yep. You know what? I trust him. I think he is not a robot. Let's see what the English Australian female Natasha sounds like. Another test to see if it sounds good. I think that sounds like a real person. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down pace and we can see the default is just regular speed. You can subtract it 5, 10 or 20% or even add 5, 10 or 20% speed to the sound of this voice. Any voice. Another test to see if it sounds good. And 20% speed sounded really good. Let's see what negative 20 sounds like. Another test to see if it sounds good. Awesome. For this final one, we'll go with the Spanish male Alvaro and see what it sounds like. But instead, I'm going to click insert right here. And it's going to generate an audio file added to my project media and my timeline. And we see it added it to my timeline as just a general WAV file right there. Now we have this translate button on the left as well. So we can click that. And what that does is it'll translate the text to another language. It can auto detect or you can specify which text you want to transfer from. So we hit OK. It just translated my English thing into German. And now the German female Katja is going to be reading this. Dies wird offiziell das Audio sein, mit dem ich für dieses Tutorial gehe. That is absolutely crazy to me. So we can play this audio clip right here. This will officially be the audio you go with for this tutorial. And one of the last coolest things I found is that if you generated an audio file using text-to-speech, you can import the text from the audio clip that it generated into a new instance of text-to-speech, which basically means you can go from speech to text if it's already generated that file. So if you select your clip and then select the option load text from existing event, it's going to populate with what that clip says. Now I wanted to test if it would import what I said personally from just something I recorded, but if I play it and then select load text from existing event, testing, testing, this is a test, testing. It does not import the text that I manually recorded. It only seems to import text from the existing events that it creates through text to speech. But I think this is an amazing feature that's super, super awesome, and I can't wait to start messing around with it more. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all my legendary scrappers at the top, LMC and Hardy Cash. You can find links to their channels and social media in the description below. And thanks to all my super scrappers there in the middle and my awesome scrappers at the bottom.